Welcome to the acrylic flower painting tutorial. I will begin this painting using a refillable acrylic marker. Uh, these come in all types of sizes and you can put whatever color you wish in them. I am using acrylic ink for this demo. As I begin this painting, I will simply draw a loose contour of my subject. You can think of this stage as like a coloring book. So you're just going around the main edges and shapes until you get the majority of it sketched out. You don't need every single bit, just the main shapes. So as you can see, I'm skimming across the subject and getting pretty loose and expressive with my strokes. If you're painting from a photograph, I'd recommend that you don't try to get too fussy with details Keep it very minimalistic, almost contemporary, and try to come up with a drawing uh, that isn't too predictable or predetermined. So just sort of make it up as you go and just have a little bit of fun at this stage. This is going to set the tone for how you will approach painting and filling in these shapes later on. So if you have a drawing that is very stiff, uh, then you can count on your painting uh, looking the same way. So as I finish up the coloring book stage of this painting, just take note how loose and scribbly it is. Now I'm going to begin with a very saturated uh, red for the background. That's a cool red. So I am using alizarin crimson. If you're curious about the colors and the materials I use for this painting, uh, you can click the link in the description that will take you to the article and that's going to have all the materials I use not only for this painting but for all of the paint hog demonstrations. Now as I go around the drawing I'm leaving a little layer or strip of white not in every place but if you look closely you'll see a little bit of white there in between the original red drawing and the color I'm painting now. I'm going to desaturate that just a little bit by adding a little bit of white to the background. And then I use the same alizarin crimson with a little more white to block in the flowers. The blocking stage is important because it's going to give you something to make decisions on once you get everything blocked in. So as you do your block in stage, uh, try not to make too many decisions or corrections. Wait until all of these areas are blocked in and then you can make better decisions because you're going to have a better feel for how the painting looks overall. So it's best not to make too many early decisions at this stage. Just go with your gut and perhaps you can use this advice and that's change it up. So if you're using the same color green too long, uh, then change it. If it looks too dark, then make it lighter. If it looks too light and saturated, then of course you can do something different. So variety is the key. That's what's going to help make this painting look interesting. If you use all the same color green, for example, then obviously the painting may look a little bit flat in the end. The majority of the colors I'm using right now are green. So even as I put a little bit of white into this color I'm painting now, uh, it has a green bias to it. Uh, so even though it looks brown, it, it has enough green that it's going to flow with the rest of the leaves. I'm using some bone black at this point for the vase. This is going to have a very minimalistic sort of clean look to it. But the way it's approached, it's just going to uh, look a little bit abstract as well. I guess since we're talking about that, uh, you could probably say that all art is abstract because we're simply painting symbols of our subjects. So no matter how realistic uh, you paint or a painting may seem, it's still abstract because it's not really a tree. It's just a symbol of a tree. This is not really a flower with a vase it's a symbol of a flower in a vase so no matter what style you paint it in it's still the same now as I move into the leaves here I'm changing it up so I want to use something that's a little more yellow 
And now I'm going to put a little bit of variation into the main stars, and that's the flowers. I'm using the same color, I'm just adding a little more white. This style of painting can be very beginner friendly because you don't have to fuss with too many details. So we're not trying to go for a realistic looking still life here. We're trying to just make something that is uh, loose, fun, colorful, and that makes it a great choice for beginners. Now I'm starting to look at the pink flowers. I'm adding some lighter notes, a few darker notes before I start painting the tablecloth. So the tablecloth is very simple. It's just blue and white and I'll just stagger those colors and then move in with a few shadows. So that is just a dark value of blue. So that's going to be part of the shadow there. And eventually I'll get into some whites, which I'm filling in now. So I'm going back over all of this. And notice how I'm leaving some of those coloring book lines behind. This will give the painting you know, a nice cohesive look once it's all done. You can see now that the shadow is in. Again, it's very loosely painted, which goes with the flow of the rest of the painting. Now I'll move in with a darker color for the background. I had this in mind the whole time, but the goal was to start with a nice saturated, kind of a light value background, and then go over it with a darker value and leave bits and pieces of that original pink behind. Again, that gives it a nice color vibration. So putting that dark background over the light background and leaving bits and pieces of it uh, really make the flowers come forward. Here, I'm just gonna finish it off with a few details. I've got a few dots on the leaves, a few darks in the flowers, and we're all done. If you would like to try this painting yourself, you can click the link in the description that I'll take you to an article for this painting. There's a template there. Again, you've got all the brushes and the colors that I used for this demo. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time. This is Paint Hog signing out.